How to reduce video size without losing quality. Part 1. Reduce video size with Wondershare Uniconverter. On Wondershare Uniconverter, go to this video compressor category. Click the Add Files button. Select the source video that you want to compress. Click Open. Choose a compression ratio from this file size menu to perform bulk compression. Alternatively, click the settings icon to configure compression preferences for each video individually. Use this file size slider to manually reduce the video size. Optionally choose a different format. You can also pick a lower resolution from this resolution list for automatic compression. Optionally, click this preview button to preview the output quality. Click OK to save the preferences. Optionally, set a destination folder in this file location field. Click Start All to compress all the videos added to the list. Wait while Uniconverter performs the compression. Go to Finished when the process completes. Click Open to go to the Output folder to access the compressed video. Part 2. Reduce video size using online solutions. Using online Uniconverter. On the landing page, click Choose Files. Alternatively, click any of these icons to upload the video from Dropbox or Google Drive. For now, let's stick to Choose Files to upload the video from the computer. Now, select a video from your local hard drive and click Open. Pick a lower resolution from this resolution list. Optionally, choose a compression ratio from this reset size menu. Select an output format from this format list. Let's select MP4. Click Compress to start video compression. Wait while Online Uniconverter compresses the video. Once compressed, click Download to save the video to your computer. Using Video Smaller. Click Browse. Select the source video. Click Open. Optionally, check this Use Low Compression Level box to get better video output. Select a lower picture resolution from this scale drop down list. Scroll down a bit. Optionally, check this Remove Audio from Video box to get rid of the acoustics. Click Upload Video. Wait while the video is uploaded and compressed. Click Download File after the process is complete. Using ClipChamp. Click Compress a Video Now. Click Convert My Video. Select the source video from your computer. Click Open. Expand Customize Settings. Pick a lower resolution from the available options. 
Optionally, choose your preferred output format. You can also choose a display quality if required. Click Start. Wait while the video is compressed. Once done, notice the new size of the compressed video. Click Save to save the compressed video to your PC. Part 3. Reduce video size using free third-party apps. Using Free Video Converter. On the main window, ensure that the Convert Tile is selected. Click Add Files. Select the source video. Click Open. Define a destination location in this output field. Click this compress icon. Drag this file size slider to the left to reduce video size. Optionally, pick a lower resolution from this resolution drop down list. Optionally, click Preview to review the output quality that you can expect. Click OK to save the preferences. Click Convert. Click Continue Trial. Wait while Free Video Converter compresses the video. Go to Converted. Click this Open File Location button to go to the Output folder to access the file. Using VLC Media Player. On the Programs window, open the Media menu. Click Convert, Save. Click Add. Select the source video. Click Open. Click Convert, Save. Click this Edit Selected Profile icon. Go to the Video Codec tab. Define a name for the new profile in the Profile Name field. Check the video box. Go to the Resolution tab. Select one from the scale drop down list. This will ensure that the picture size remains intact. Define custom your preferred width and height in the corresponding frame size fields. Click Create to create a new video profile. Back on the previous box, select the newly created video profile from the Profile drop-down list. Click Browse. Define a new name for the output file in the File Name field. Click Save. Click Start and wait while VLC compresses the video using any video converter. On the main window, click Add or Drag Files. Select the source video. Click Open. Click to open the presets drop-down list. Choose a target platform from the available options in the left. And select the device you want to play the video on. Optionally, pick a lower resolution in the video size drop-down list.
and if you want, choose a different destination location in the output folder field. Finally, click Convert Now to start the compression process. Access the compressed video from the folder that opens up after the process is complete using FreeMake Video Converter. On the main window, click this video button. Select the source video. Click Open. From these available options at the bottom, select a format that you want to have the compressed video in. Click this settings icon under the preset menu. Pick a lower resolution from this frame size drop down list. Click OK to save the preferences. Optionally, choose your preferred output folder from this Save to drop down list. Click Convert. Click Continue with Logo to produce the compressed video with the program's watermark using QuickTime Player. Start QuickTime Player on your Mac computer. Select the source video. Click Open. Open the Edit menu. Click Trim. Drag the left and the right trimming handles inwards to leave off the unwanted portions of the video. Click Trim. Open the file menu. Click Save. Enter a name for the new file in the export as field. Optionally, choose an output folder from the Where drop down list. Click Save. Wait while the video is trimmed. You can access the trimmed and compressed video from the output folder using Handbrake. Click File from the navigation pane in the left. Select the source video. Click Open. Choose your preferred output format from this format drop down list. Open this preset menu and choose a preset with a lower picture resolution from the available options. Click Browse. Choose an output location. Enter a new name for the output video in the file name field. Click Save. Click Starting Code. You can check the progress in this status bar at the bottom. Once the compression process is complete, go to the output folder to access the produced video. Thank you for watching.